A prison riot in Tamara, Honduras, has resulted in the tragic death of at least 41 women, some of whom were burned alive. The outbreak of violence between rival gangs, Barrio 18 and Mara Salvatruca, MS-13, led to the horrifying scene at the prison, located northwest of the capital, Tegucigalpa. Authorities discovered numerous bodies, with some victims shot to death, while others were treated for gunshot and knife wounds at a hospital in Tegucigalpa. President Xiomara Castro condemned the monstrous murder and attributed the violence to powerful street gangs. She pledged to respond with drastic measures. The riot erupted following recent efforts by authorities to crack down on illicit activities within prisons, according to Julissa Villanueva, the head of Honduras' prison system. Gangs often exert significant control within the country's correctional facilities, setting their own rules and engaging in prohibited activities. The tragic incident in Tamara marks one of the deadliest incidents in a female detention center in the region since 2017, when 41 girls died in a fire at a Guatemalan shelter. It also brings to mind the worst prison disaster in Honduras history, where 361 inmates lost their lives in a fire at the Comayagua Penitentiary in 2012. The families of the inmates gathered outside the prison, desperately seeking information about their loved ones. The situation highlights the ongoing challenges faced by authorities in maintaining security and control within Honduras prison system, as well as the need for comprehensive measures to address gang violence and improve conditions for inmates.